Search us, O Lord, and know our hearts. Lord, try our anxious ways. Reveal anything that's wicked and not of you. Reveal the things that are not needed. Bring to the surface, Lord, with your refiner's fire, anything that needs to go today. Lord, I just come before you right now and I just lift up each and every person here. Those who are here live, those who are here on replay, those way down the path who might find this live stream, this video. And Lord, I just lift that person up before you. And I say, Lord, this is your creation. This person is your creation formed in your image, formed in your likeness. They've given themselves to you as their child or you are working on them right now. And they are looking to you and they are seeking truth. And so, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, for each person here, regardless where you're at with the Lord right now, I say, let truth be revealed. In Jesus' name, I say, truth must be revealed today. And I just proclaim that truth will be revealed in your life. And if you agree with this, you can just agree. You can just say yes. You can say amen, however you want to agree um, with God. You know, it's not agreeing with me, okay? So I say, let truth be revealed in the name of Jesus in this person's life. And I say, let it be revealed today. I say, truth, rise up and be seen. I say, where there's been like tangleweed or um, I just see a vision in my head of kind of like a person. I don't, I don't, know, I don't know, male or female. I just see a person kind of like looking around and there's just all this kind of thicket, like a thicket. I don't know. Where do you even find a thicket? I don't feel like we have a thicket here in Australia. I feel like thickets are in Britain and <laughs> the thickets are in the UK. I just see this person in a thicket and I just see um, kind of like mist and fog and you can't see the direction. And I see this person just kind of looking around and everything's so misty and shroudy and they don't know which way to go. And it's just really kind of like tall plants, thickety plants. So it's confusing. It's not possible to know the right direction. And I say right now in Jesus name, let truth be revealed in the midst of the thicket, in the midst of doubt, in the midst of uncertainty, in the mist, in the fog. I say light of a light of the Lord, light of God shine and be visible to this person in their life. Oh, and I can just see this light, this heavenly light. Um, it actually reminds me of uh, uh, when my son used to have a lightsaber. <laughs> um like a bright, shining, glowing light. And I can see it just going like up from the earth and down from the heavens. So Lord, let your light be revealed. Let your heavenly light be revealed in this person's life. Cause direction to be made clear, Lord. Lord, I just thank you that you draw us to the light, to your light, to your light, to your light, to your light, for there is no other light. And I say false light be revealed right now. And I can see in this thicket, I can just see like all of a sudden, like grave, yaddy, skeleton, death. I can just see death. I can see death being revealed right now in Jesus' name. And so actually it previously looked like, kind of beautiful to be honest in the vision and this is how life can look at first it just looked like this person is there and there's this thicket there and this kind of mist and the mist is kind of beautiful you know it's kind of white and shining and the thicket was you know when there's dew on the um, plants or on the ground and it's kind of pretty and it was sort of white and misty and you know just nice looking and still and quiet and that kind of thing and then I saw the light of God I saw the light of God being revealed as I proclaimed it and if you're agreeing with that and you're saying yes this is for you and this is what is going to occur as you believe and as you agree with the Lord his light just being revealed in your life where previously you were not sure of the direction the direction is now shown and it's this it's this glorious like um awe inspiring you know fear of the lord inspiring light that is unmistakable it's like that's the direction there's this light that's just beaming supernaturally it's clearly not a thing of man or of the earth and it's beaming just from the ground from beyond you know beneath the ground all the way to the heavens and it drawing you near i just saw that it is drawing you near light of the lord draw this person to you the light of the lord is the lord to be clear so you're not being drawn to a thing and you've got to be in agreement with that. You agree. You agree. You agree. You say yes. You can say yes right now. Yes, Lord, I say that I am drawn to you. Say yes, Lord, I know I'm drawn to you. Lord, I say I'm drawn to you. Say yes, Lord, I want to be drawn to you. Say yes, Lord, I accept your pull. Yes, Lord, I accept your call. Yes, Lord, I am magnetized by you. Yes, Lord, I want everything that's not of you to fall away. I know I talk kind of fast. You can just agree with me. 
Okay, but then as I was seeing that and I was seeing that light just came down from the ground to the heavens and you were naturally, all of us, each of us just naturally like pulled towards it because you would be, how could you not be? But all of a sudden I saw death exposed and I saw that in the thicket, which looks so beautiful and misty and kind of pretty, in the thicket all of a sudden I was like, oh my God, there's like death everywhere, like rising up and just being revealed just lurking, just there all around you. And now I'm just getting that kind of vision of how it's been choking you. And I just see that death has been choking people here and you have felt choked and you have felt compressed and you felt contracted and you felt bound and you felt, um, yeah, tied up. You felt tied up. You felt hopelessness. You felt frustration, desperation. And some of you, which is probably many of you right here, some of you have done your very bestest in your human strength to get out of that bondage and you're like willing to do the work. You know, we're the ones who do what it takes, no matter what it takes, till it takes. And that was one of my catch cries for years in my coaching business. And now it's only in the Lord. Lord, in the Lord, from you, by you, for you, through you, I do what it takes, no matter what it takes, till it takes. You can agree with that as well, but I don't do it in my own effort anymore. And I repent right now and you can repent right now. I repent right now for trying to do what it takes, no matter what it takes, whatever I think it takes. I repent for my own effort is what we're saying. You can agree with that. You say, Lord, I repent. I repent for my own effort. But some of you have seen, I can see that in that thicket, um, Mary says, I saw the thicket melting away in a place like water dissolves cotton candy. It melts away a path to walk through. Walk through. I'm screenshotting that because the comments disappear after the live stream is done. Thank you for sharing that, Mary. If you see something, just share it. Please share it. Oh. So for some of you who've been in that bondage and uh, that you felt choked and there's been a, an awareness of oppression and you just can't seem to find your way and you keep striving though because you're the high achievers. We are the high achievers, the you know, the high performers, um, perfectionists, you know, the ones who are willing to do the work and you're reading, I don't know, the 5am club and all the different books, nothing against that book. <laughs> I don't, I have not, not, not even read the book. I referenced it because my sister was referencing it on the weekend. <laughs> You're reading whichever productivity books that you're reading and you're kicking stuff off and you're joining masterminds and you're doing whatever you're doing to try and get out of the feeling or the reality of bondage, oppression, being stuck, being, you know, directionless. And you just, you can just come up with all your own ideas of direction and they can sound really pretty good and you can make a list and check it twice, like Santa, apparently, um, and you can be the hardest working person in the room. And yet you can still be in bondage right now. And right now I say chains loosen of people who have been the hardest working person in the room. And I just feel the Lord's heart for you. If this is for you, just say it. it's me. You know, and, and this is not just for one person, by the way. And I just feel the Lord's heart for you. That right now, for some of you, you've been the hardest working person in the room. You've been the one who will show up, who will go to the ends of the earth in your own strength for your loved ones, for your community, you have a heart for people and you are willing to do what it takes. And I also just sense spirit of rejection, spirit of rejection being broken off right now. And I say in the name of Jesus, spirit of rejection, just get off of this person. Spirit of rejection, leave in Jesus name, be, be exposed and leave in the name of Jesus. And I just see that Jesus Jesus is just causing freedom right now, breaking off a spirit of rejection that for many people, I will include myself, has caused a continual habit of not enough, not enough, like a belief of not enough. Yeah. You want to say it's me, if it's you, like claim that freedom, claim that deliverance. I mean, you don't have to say it to me in the comments. You can say it out loud, but you want to say it. Okay. You need to claim it. Yes. It's many people. I mean, honestly, it's it's most people. It's, it's not like... <laughs> You know, if I was making stuff up, that would be an easy thing to make up. But that's what God said to me. So spirit of rejection, spirit of not enough, live in Jesus' name. And fire of the Lord, replace, 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 cleanse this person. Lord, thank you that we are free by your blood and only by your blood. And if you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, this does not apply to you and it cannot apply to you. The only way to true relationship with God is through the Son, Jesus. You need to accept Jesus. There's no reason for you. You don't need to prepare for that. You can do that right here, right now. Just like I said, you don't need to repair to go into a fasting period. There's no meal prep to fast. You just don't eat. There's no preparation, actually. I mean, God has prepared your heart already if it's your time. 
actually the preparation already happened. But right now you can just say, I'm done. And I accept you, Jesus. And I declare with my mouth, I confess with my belief in my heart that Jesus is Lord. And I say, be Lord in my life. And I'm, I'm done. I'm done with my own ways. Make me and shape me, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Somebody who just needs to surrender their life to the Lord right now. And you've been waiting. You've been waiting. You've been not sure. You've had an idea. You need to be ready. No, that's a lie. That's a lie of the devil. If, you, if that's you, you can tell me. You can tell me publicly or privately. Whatever you like. Dear me. So you can just say, I surrender my life to you, Lord. If you if you already are a child of God, you can say that again. Lord, we surrender our lives to you. But some of you, there are at least one person, I sense, is surrendering their life to the Lord now and saying, I'm done. And I give my life to you, Lord. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. I say you are Lord and I say I'm done. I'm done with my own ways. Show me and shape me. Show me and shape me. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. So for those of you who, who, who know that that's a spirit of rejection that's been broken off just now, you need to stay in agreement with that because it's going to try and come back at you more than likely. There's going to be a familiar spirit in the next you know, couple of days or even hours or even moments and you just say, no, I don't agree. I am free from a spirit of rejection and I'm going to walk out my freedom and deliverance. And you just pray. You go, Lord, show me. Holy Spirit, guide me. But you don't agree. When God has shown you something, given you something, delivered you from something, and then you feel like, oh, I'm, I'm, that must not have happened because now this is happening. So I guess I got that wrong. No, 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 no. You have a choice there. You can agree with what's going on circumstantially and you can say, no, no, no. Or you can say, no, nah, uh, uh, uh. it's not what I see. It's what God said. It's not what I see. It's what God said. Okay. So for those of you for whom that applied or for, for everyone right now anyway, where there's been this, there's been this being in bondage and just being choked. I saw this choking, yeah, in the thicket. And the person that I was seeing in the vision, which is any of us, all of us, more than likely, was trying so hard to get at, to get free and to get out of it and to do all the right things. And that's what's been happening. And sometimes it seems like it's working because that's how death works in an earthly sense of spiritual death. Things that are dead in the spirit as far as our works and our efforts and just the way that we live our lives. We can get what seems like positive feedback. It can appear to be working. We can be making some kind of apparent headway. How do you know it's not right and it's not true? Because there's an uneasiness in your spirit. There's a dis-ease. There's a continual, you know, tick, tick, tick that's about to go boom, basically. And it just doesn't go away. And you can't make it go away. You can go on a million, you know, you can do a million different new age healing modalities. You can go on 25,000 plant medicine journeys. You can pay the best um, like marketing or mindset gurus in the world and do all the things. You can travel the world. You can, you can be r religious with your personal development routines and disciplines and it will still be there. Tick, 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 tick. Eventually it's going to go boom. That's what's going to happen. I mean, that was there in me for years as I ran from the Lord. Years, years. I never didn't know that it was there, but I did a pretty good job of covering it up. You know, la, la, la. If I listen to my own voice enough, then maybe I won't hear the voice of God inside me. And so right now, in the name of Jesus, I just proclaim people putting down the work of their own hand, like putting down the work of their own hands putting down effort, putting down striving. And I just say eyes open right now in Jesus' name. And if this is for you, you can even like, just as a gesture, just go like that. Like, yes, I put it down. I say my eyes are opened in the spirit by the Lord. And I just see recognition, recognition in your life, even today or tomorrow, if you're watching this in the evening, where it's almost a little bewildering at first because you just realize like, oh, I don't, it's like you woke up from a stupor, from a slumber, yeah? Which is exactly what happened. Oh, I don't, I don't need to do that. Or even like, why was I doing that? And there can be shame that comes up with that because you can all of a sudden see all the ways in which you, you know, have been consumed by something and that other things in your life have maybe been neglected as a result of that. So that shame and condemnation, there is no shame or condemnation for those who are in Christ. So as a child of God... Even a brand new child of God, one minute in, 
You say, no, I don't accept shame or condemnation, but I repent. So Lord, we repent right now. We repent for being in our own effort. We repent for striving. We repent for trying to do it ourselves. And we say, Lord, we want to be free. And we say we are free by the blood of Jesus in your name. For those of us who have accepted your son. Here's what he's showing me now. In that thicket where you're directionless, even in your hustle or bustle or getting done of things, you're still directionless and you know it. That's what that tick-tick inside of you is. Yeah? Here's what he's showing me now. The, the thicket looked so beautiful at first and, you know, kind of lovely. And then I saw that light from heaven just brilliantly being revealed in your life today, today, today. And you're drawn towards it. And death was revealed and exposed. You don't have to right now in this moment or necessarily even at all, like identify every element of death. Maybe that's what we're going to move into tomorrow. We'll find out. Or right now in this moment, that's not what's being shown. But what I'm seeing right now is that those chains that have bound you, uncertainty, um, not enoughness, striving, pursuing yeah, worth in your own identity, all that kind of stuff. And the fighting to kind of like work your own way out of it. Like, I'll just work harder. I'll try harder. I'll be more committed. I'll be more relentless. You know, I'm a high achiever. I'm the person that's going to overcome. And it's so exhausting. It's so exhausting. All of that in that freedom that was just released over us. Thank you, Lord. What I'm seeing now, what he's showing me now is all that death and destruction and also the fog and the mist and the I don't know where to go or where I even am. It just dissipates it's just dissipating it's just dissipating because he's giving you eyes to see in the spirit realm and to be led by his spirit and the things of this world are still going to be there so death and destruction is still going to be there actually you can choose it at any time you want any time you want you can feed yourself with the things of this world and you can delight yourself in the things of this world such that you are able through your own choice and free will to opt back in to being bound. Well, you're never going to be bound, you know, in your spirit once you have the Holy Spirit in you. But in your mind and emotions and in your time and your day-to-day -day life, you can absolutely choose back into death and destruction anytime you want because it's right there. So that can feel kind of scary. What if I accidentally am just like wandering off path again? Here's how you just stay on path. You just look to the Lord. You just look to the Lord. You look to the Lord. You look to the Lord. Childlike faith. Lord, I see you and I believe. And even when I don't see, I say, give me eyes to see because I am a child of God. And the Bible says that his sheep know his voice. And it says that you have a plan for me. And it's a good plan, a plan to prosper and not to harm me. And it says in many different places that when I call out to you, you will answer. And it says that I have your favor. And it says you bless my path as I walk forward. Psalm 1, 6. And, and whatever other scriptures he shows you, you need to get into the word. And so you just start declaring and proclaiming these things over you and you just refuse to agree. In the same way that you need to agree with what God shows you, you need to refuse to agree with what the world says about you or what trauma that you've experienced and may still need healing for says about you or what your own mind comes up with or what some unhelpful person that doesn't need to be there comes up with, etc. Life is about agreeing and not agreeing. That's what life is about. You can agree that you were designed to be a child of God. You can agree that Jesus is Lord. You can agree that he came and shed his blood for us on the cross so that we don't have to pay the price of sin. You can agree that the problem with this world is sin, which is to say misalignment, which is to say being off the path. That's not a hard thing to agree with. You know, let's not make it so dramatic. Is anyone here going to disagree that this world is off path or that as individuals without God, we're off path? That's what coming to God is about. It's not about religion. It's definitely not about church trauma, which I know is there for many people. It's definitely not about Christianity trauma, if that applies. It is about true relationship with the living God. It is simply agreeing that you're wayward and that this world is wayward and that there is no possible way to be anything other than wayward without being led by the Lord. And if right now you want to be led by his Holy Spirit, you want that refiner's fire you want that heavenly illuminated light drawing you forward, causing you to naturally walk the right path. His footsteps, I read a scripture the other day, 
which I hadn't read before. Well, I must have read it because I've read the Bible many times uh, just as a high achiever child, <laughs> cover to cover. <laughs> I don't think I read it supernaturally. I perfectionist read it. But anyway, I read a scripture and, and now I read it supernaturally. Thank you, Lord. I read a scripture that said his footsteps um, become our thoughts. Ooh, how good is that? I think I wrote it down in my journal. How beautiful is my journal right now? Um... Oh my gosh, I've only got 16 pages of journaling from the last few days, so I don't know if I'd find it that easily. But I read a scripture that said, his footsteps become our thoughts. How beautiful is that? Proverbs 16, 3, commit your works to the Lord and your thoughts will be established. You don't have to worry about your thoughts when you commit to the Lord. He will establish your thoughts. That's what he's going to do. And he establishes your steps. He guides you. He leads you. <sighs> okay, I can't find it. I don't know where it is. Oh, here's my instructions from Saturday. Community fast and a hunger for the Lord. Three-day fast. Start Monday. Refiner's fire. Oh, my gosh. I forgot that I wrote refiner's fire down in my journal. I thought I just came up with that last night. No, it's in my journal from Saturday. <laughs> refiner's fire has been a, a focus for the last few days, though. Oh, here we go. Psalm 85, 12 to 13. Yes, the Lord will give what is good. Oh, how good is this? And our land will yield its increase. Oh my gosh, those of you who've been in the thicket, bound, frustrated, trying to find your own way forward, uh, you know, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. Accepting the freedom that he just released today and looking to the light that he revealed today as scales were lifted and veils were lifted and deception was exposed results in the fact that he will cause an increase. This is not like hashtag prosperity gospel. Your bank account will be filled with millions tomorrow if you look to the Lord. That's not what I'm saying, okay? What is the increase that he's going to cause in your land right now? What is the increase that actually needs to occur? It can be financial. It can be all sorts of things. You know, but let's, let's just stop the money idolatry, okay? Like you're provided for and taken care of as a child of the Lord. Stop worrying about money. Stop worshiping money. So yes, the Lord will give what is good and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness will go before him and shall make his footsteps our pathway. His footsteps will become our pathway. That's what happens. So death and destruction is still there. And it, it, it's always going to be there in this, you know, on this earth, in this earthly realm. When we look to the Lord, we are led by his righteousness. We actually have become his righteousness as children of God through the blood of Jesus. Lord, we just thank you for this time together today. We thank you for revelation. We thank you for vision. We thank you for prophetic word released. We thank you that we were able to proclaim and decree and that there were things that I just proclaimed over people's lives that they agreed with that are causing a change right now already in the supernatural. Lord, I thank you that today things were broken off. Chains were loosened. I thank you that deception was revealed today. Lord, I thank you that all of a sudden today people were able to put down striving and just realize and see where they'd been just trying to hold on and trying to make things work and trying to, you know, escape their own way out of a supernatural bondage that can only be um, loosened and, and that we can only be freed in by you and by the blood of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for fresh insight and revelation that is being shown right now. I thank you that you are giving people eyes to see. And I thank you that circumstances will be rearranged in the physical realm as a response to the supernatural. And Lord, over these coming days in that new space that people have, I just say there will be no retaliation. I just come against retaliation. I come against attacks of the enemy. I come against confusion. I come against things that pop up to distract or derail in the next couple of days or even in the next eight hours. I come against things that try to consume people this way it's very important you join this fast right now and you're going to watch the replay if you just jumped on or look at my stories or dm me because otherwise you can easily just be consumed again okay and then oh okay this like spoke to me and oh my gosh like god revealed something and then next minute a week two weeks a year 10 years passes and um you're just busy okay so i come against things that it would try and like fill people back up with the false thing today. And I say, let your light be seen in Jesus name. And right now I just speak the peace of the Holy Spirit over each person here. I just say, peace, 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 filling this person up, filling him up, filling her up, filling me up. Peace of the Holy Spirit come, peace of the Holy Spirit from the bottom of the toes to the tip of the head, overflowing, 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 consuming fire, refiner's fire of the Lord, 
fill us, cover us, sweep in and around us and through our lives so that there is not even an option or any inkling of desire that we would want to look anywhere else so that we are so consumed by your refiner's fire, Lord, that we are just drawn to you, drawn to you and we are operating in you and you are in us and we are living in that fire. And I just speak all of this in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I additionally ask for those who want to agree with it, for everyone, I just ask for uh, revelation, insight, and specific words. Lord, I ask that you give a specific word into each person's heart. Lord, give her a word right now. Give him a word right now. It could mean a literal word, right? It could mean like a literal word, or it could be a scripture or a verse. It could be something that somebody says to you later today. But Lord, I just say, give her a word right now. Give him a word right now. And that word is just, you know, it, it's an assurance. It's an assurance from the Lord. And I, I love if you share with me if he's given you something or when he gives you something you need to believe that he's going to give you something right now i just come against an attack of the enemy that is in somebody's mind saying i'm not going to hear something god doesn't want to say something to me yes he does he formed you in his image he he fashioned you in your mother's womb he knitted you together he knew your days before the days of time were you know here or created he is going to speak to you so right now somebody needs to say i disagree with you satan the Lord is speaking to me and he wants to speak to me because that's true for everybody. Every single human person, God wants to speak to you. God has things to say to you. He has things to reveal to you. When you seek him with the heart to find the truth, no matter who you are, no matter what your background is, no matter what you've done, when you seek him with the heart to find the truth, he will reveal himself to you. So yes, he has a word for you in Jesus name.